Hi everybody, I'm Amy and today I'm going to be dyeing this cotton yarn that I've knitted up into a swatch. Oh dear, I had a little bit of dye on my, my gloves. Oh well, that doesn't matter. Uh, this cotton yarn has been soaking in a solution here of soda ash and uh, salt. And I'm going to just speckle some some black dye, it's uh, Raven Black from Dharma. Make sure my, my hands are completely dry. Uh, I've got my mask on because this is powder. Uh, I don't want to breathe this in. Now I'm just gonna grab a tiny pinch, get, let most of it fall off on my fingers and then just sprinkle it on like this. Uh, I, in, my, in, in the past when I've done speckling, uh, I've kind of gone in very heavy and it's not worked out quite as well as I'd hoped, but I'm hoping to just have a little bit of restraint here. So that's one side, I'm going to flip it over and just gently do the other side. Now, I don't want to overdo it, but oh, you can see there's a little bit of breaking here. We've got some yellow there, some blue. Well, I think it's breaking. It could just be dye on my, my gloves. There we go. So I'm just going to pat that down. That's all I'm going to do for this. Now I'm going to, this needs to stay wet. Because it's cotton, it doesn't need heat to help apply the the dye that to help set the dye just needs to be to have the soda ash and salt to be wet and to just have time so I'm going to leave this probably overnight and tomorrow morning I'll uh, I'll um, be able to rinse this but if you can see here you can already see the dye is breaking and that means uh, it's splitting into the different colours that it's made of. So you can see we've got some yellows here, got some blues, some pinks. Ooh, oh, I'm really excited by this. I can't wait to see what this looks like when it's finished. And here is our finished dyed cotton swatch. Now the speckling, it's not. I wouldn't call this speckled. Uh, I did go in far too heavy, as I thought I probably was doing at the time. But I do love what we've got. The dye, you can see here, has broken into the into the different uh, colours it's made up of. So we've got some reds here, some yellows, sort of all speckled around, and there are some blue bits as well. Uh, I, it's just a lot of this is. We've got some darker patches here. We've got some. Uh, sort of paler grey patches. I think this is so pretty. It's not what I had originally planned to make, but I do love this result. And here is the cotton swatch all unravelled. Now you can see that there is a lot more white in here. That's because the knit, uh, knit stitch creates natural resist points where the dye can't go all the way through. And that's what I was hoping to capture with this. Uh, it's not speckled black that I was hoping, but as you can see here, it's certainly speckled primary colours with some grey patches and some, some darker darker patches in there as well. Oh, I, I absolutely love this. I think it's not what I had hoped for, but I am very, very happy with these results. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I aim to produce a new dyeing tutorial video every Monday. Thank you so much for watching.